Turtle watching in St. Patrick is a wonderful and unique experience, especially when considering that Grenada is one of only three beaches in the Caribbean where the female leatherback turtle comes to nest every year. But equally important as the experience is awareness and preservation. So, the St. Patrick Environmental and Community Tourism Organization, SPECTO, has undertaken the task to raise the level of consciousness and awareness necessary to protect the endangered leatherback turtle species. Formed in 2009, SPECTO, a non-profit environmental and community tourism advocacy group based in St. Patrick, also engages the community in the development of alternative livelihood based on environmental conservation and activism. It is mandated by the Fisheries Department to conduct guided tours to the leatherback turtle nesting and hatching site at Levera Beach. Um, we work with the community um, of St. Patrick's. Um, we work with groups and organizations um, from uh, Davi to the Davi in the, uh, in the northwest um, to La Portree in the northeast. Uh, we work along with the communities and community groups and organizations there. Um, we have assisted in the formation of a number of environmental groups um, in St. Patrick's uh, during the period. We were also involving, uh, we are also presently still involved in anti litter campaign. Uh, we have donated um, garbage bins, um, um, the strong collectibles that is um, sold by solid waste to um, all the community centers um, on the northeastern side of St. Patrick's, namely Rosalie, Rose Hill, um, and so forth. And uh, we have, with the assistance of um, the primary school in the area, um, get the kids involved in planting trees around the, some of the pre-primary schools in the area. That's Chairman of SPECTO, Mr. Valentino Sorni. SPECTO is involved with the Global Environmental Fund, Jeff, through its small grants program. Board member Claudette Pitt says a major focus is managing coastal areas which are affected by sea level rise. We developed a project with um, small grants to look for um, funding to build our capacity. Um, our project was called Community Development Through Ecotourism. Um, we received funding from them, they, it was approved, and there began our, our, our relationship with small grants funds. We got funding under um, the country program um, OP5, um, a total of 30,000 US dollars to develop uh, okay, as I said, our capacity. Um, through this, we, we are able to, to train tour guides, train more tour guides to get the opportunities to have jobs. Um, right now, the project of turtle conservation, guided tours, employs 11 persons. So it means we needed to, to, to upgrade their skills. The 11 persons of which Ms. Pitt speaks comprise eight tour guides and three wardens who are employed from April to July. Most of them are from Rose Hill and River Sally. Chairman Valentino Sorni says having Jeff on board has helped to cushion the cost to create employment and public awareness training opportunities for a number of people in the parish. Public awareness is not cheap, <laughs> you know. <laughs> it's not cheap, you know. Um, um, so apart from the funding, you know, we had to do these days, these funding agencies, you know, um, you have to have counterpart, you know, in terms of um, your contribution and so forth. Um, have to play an important role and so forth. Fund, um, funding agents don't give you 100% back, cash back, you know. So I say, um, you know, we have been able, successful, successfully able to, you know, achieve uh, this objective, that project. A lot of it had to do with um, actually um, public awareness and so forth. Um, most of it was dealing with public awareness where um, group leaders and so were trained 
different aspects of the environment and so forth. For Ms. Pitt, the Small Grants Program has a positive rippling effect on environmental awareness in St. Patrick. They are now in some areas in St. Patrick's where community groups are formed, calling themselves environmental groups. Um, there's a group we worked with in Mount Ridge um, that now has their own toes going to the, um, the petroglyphs and so um, by the Arax and Caribs in the Mount Ridge area. Now they're doing toes. And this is a young group called Mycedo, Mount Ridge Youth and environmental community group. Um, and, and so we have the Liberal, Liberal Youth Organization, Liberal Lafarchin Youth Organization too, that have worked with us. The MacDepmo group in Mount Rodney. Um, we have the Davi, Davi community, um, the Madez community, um, the River Sally Rosehill community is working with us. To, to try to take, um, to see how the two can um, take ownership of the protection and conservation of this beautiful earth that God has given to us. Through the Jeff Grant, Specto has worked to improve information sharing. So it has rebranded its image with a defined logo and a new user-friendly website. This was endorsed by business and social partners. Specto is key in the co-management of the incredible resources, ecotourism resources that are available at Levera in the parish of St. Patrick's and we are very pleased to be a partner with the government of Grenada, with private sector stakeholders, with community groups and this charge is being led by Specto for the protection of the leatherback turtles, looking at the whole Turtle Watch project and the tour guiding activities, we work with the Royal Grenada Police Force, the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Forestry, the Ministry of Tourism, Specto and Ocean Spirits to ensure that our natural resources are protected and preserved and promoted in the right way and that our people benefit, they are trained, they understand the value of their resources and how to protect them. Over the years, Specto has done an incredible job in helping, helping to build communities and livelihoods to um, spread the message about environmental protection and conservation. And they have worked along with several stakeholders in Grenada and particularly here in St. Patrick. And Belmont Estate has been very pleased to work with Specto on several initiatives um, um, beach cleanups, river cleanups, um, PR and you know building awareness. We look forward to working with them more in the future and we congratulate them on all their efforts to date. Public education plays a key role in Specto's work, so the organization was also tasked with raising awareness on the dangers of poaching or the illegal killing of the turtles. It has been able to create a 60% drop in the practice through its partnership with Ocean Spirits, which focuses on research work on the beach at night. The, the turtles come in, they tag them, they count, um, they protect the eggs from, you know, sometimes they would um, lay in areas where there's a high level of sea, beach activities, um, sea act, water activities, so they remove the eggs and place it into safe nests um, so that the hatching would be, would be successful. Um, and a day on the beach from 8 in the night to 6 in the morning, 7 depending. So that has helped um, with the poaching, but we think more than anything else is because there are legal regulations. If anybody's caught poaching, they can go to jail. Um, that's why this, the education to, to, to prevent people from and so they understand and take ownership of it. We think that has gone very well. To effectively spread the message, young people must be involved. And so they play a role in spreading the word about keeping the area litter free. We do uh, regular beach cleanups, um, especially around the, um, the turtle nesting season. Um, as you know that um, Specto is responsible for doing guided turtle tours um, on the Liver Beach um, during the months of April to July. Um, 
and uh, we work very closely um, with the two operators and so forth that bring visitors to, in fact, um, on any given season you have between 1,500 and, eight, and 1,800 persons actually coming up to the site um, to view the nesting of the leatherback turtle. Young people ages 8 to 26 make up a small group of more than 20 persons who devote time and their efforts to keep the environment clean. The highly energized team adopted Bathway Beach as its litter-free project. Here's tour guide Florisha Mitchell. So as you see in the background, it's just a few of them. Our group is made up of 40 plus kids from our village, as I mentioned. But we just have a few of them out this, uh, this morning, trying to clean up after the Easter weekend, trying to keep the environment clean and keeping Batway clean. Because one of the things that Specto endorsed is no littering. We have an anti-litter campaign. And when we have a lot of plastic bags getting into the ocean, it's a big hazard for the leatherback turtles, which we take care of, we have in our back door, like in Leafera, which is in the season right now. So we're trying to keep that environment clean and keep less litter from getting into the sea. Kezia Charles is one of the youthful voices who says the main aim is to focus on climate change. Some things that we did already is we went to different um, primary schools. We did presentations, we did activities with them so they could have a better knowledge on climate change. We also are looking to, to have a motorcade to go around mostly on the, the coast of the country so that those who are living close to the sea, they could kind of be more aware about climate change. We are also looking to um, plant trees and other crops so that because climate change also has to do with trees and a lot of trees are being cut down to build buildings and to build cities, so planting trees would also help reduce climate change. And the initiative is growing. Specto receives requests from different schools in Grenada seeking more education on environmental conservation and the importance of protecting the leatherback turtle. With the Levera wetlands being a Ramsar site, Specto is also raising awareness on the importance of this. A Ramsar site is a wetland site designated of international importance under the Ramsar Convention.